Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's uh, Chef Fabio76 coming at you with a product information update here on the brand new 2018 John Deere E130. Um, I've been in the market for a brand new uh, lawn tractor, garden tractor for my house in my neighborhood where I cut. I retired my other tractor, which was a yard man up north, so that can stay up north, and I wanted something a little bit newer uh, here for my property. So I just wanted to show you a quick video of uh, what this machine is, some of the quick features on it, and if anybody has one, tell me what you like about it. I just was impressed by just the simplicity, the ease of use, with all the controls, which I'll show you, um, and some new features they added to this model, um, not the E140, which is the 48-inch deck. Um, so here it is, John Deere E130. Um, it is a V-twin, 22-horse, hydrostatic transmission. Uh, this is good for your small to semi-large properties, I would say up to three acres, give or take. Um, easy hood mount up here to lift up. You've got your access to your fuel filter, your batteries back here in the back. And here's your new feature, and I'm going to try this based on you know, the service manual, what it tells us to do. Um, this is this new Easy Change oil filter, um, oil change system, 30 seconds. It's your oil filter and oil all contained into one. You basically, it's locked to the left. When you're ready to change your oil, you just unscrew, pull out, go to your local John Deere dealership, turn it in, buy a new one, put it in, turn, you're done. Um, spark plug here, all your basic, you know, fuel filter, all your basic easy things. So that that's the new feature they added. Um, they literally say 30 seconds because it's quick and easy, no mess, no spills, no draining. You know, my other tractor, I have to turn it on its side, and undo the bolt, and it's it can get messy. Um, you've got your 42-inch mower deck. You've got your sprinkler head mounting to the deck for cleaning. Put your hose in, turn the hose on, turn the tractor on, turn the mower deck on. It cleans. Very important feature to use, um, especially if you've got a lot of grass like I do. The grass and stuff can build up on the bottom, and then over time it, it's harder to get off, and then it can cause corrosion and, and rotting of your deck. So, um, Fully assembled and built in the United States of America. Uh, these were built in Greenville. Tennessee. Thank you to the folks out in Tennessee. There you go. Um, a little misconception with the tractors versus your local John Deere dealerships. Um, so they're made in Tennessee and then my local um, John Deere dealer puts it together and then they uh, make sure it's it's ready to go, it's tested, and then it's brought to you know their locations or Lowe's Home Depot. So I purchased mine from Lowe's today. And what it was before, like for example, with your with your axle, um, the ones that were made for the dealerships were cast iron, and then the ones that were sold at the you know box, big box stores were made like aluminum uh, of a cheaper grade, and John Deere really didn't want that, so they're all cast iron now. They're all built the same whether you buy them at Lowe's, Home Depot, or your local John Deere dealer. They service it. Um, it's it's built there, put together, tested, and whatnot. Um, your adjustable seat. For the high backing and here's your adjustment to put the seat forward backward so it's forward and you've got your gas tank in the back i believe it's up to two gallons so that's great easy access cup holder slash beer holder <laughs> storage compartment for cell phone whatever um, your controls so as you can see i will go back to the left but on the right here's your gas pedal here's your reverse on the left here's your brake and then you've got your brake, you know, release right in here. So you just put, push forward, push down. Now it's no longer in brake. So real easy. On the back as well, because it's hydrostatic, here's your pin. To put it in neutral, to push it, you just pull the pin out. And then you can push it forward and backward. Put it back into hydrostatic transmission, push it in. That's it. A lot of the older ones, you have to push up and over or pull it out and turn it. This one's just pull forward, backward. Easy. Um... It also has cruise control, so when you get to your set speed, pop it up for cruise control, pop it down for um, when you're not in cruise control. Um, any larger yards, that's what usually they're recommended for, open spaces, such as like a yard like that. Um, on the tractor itself, mind me, apologize, um, you've got your ignition. So you start, your throttle is to the left. 
And on a cold start, your full choke. So you all the way up, full choke, bring it down, adjust your throttle, good to go. This is the, the button for your mowing in reverse. Uh, right here, sorry about that. You push that. I believe it's a pull, push or pull. Oh, it's push, okay. Yeah, and it's just, you're able to mow in backwards. I, you know, it's a safety feature really for if you have to mow backwards. Um, and then your mower deck engagement, which is right here. And you just put it up. Uh, that's about it, so let me fire it up and let you guys see how it works. I'm not gonna take it for a drive, but I'll just at least run it, so. Okay, and I've already ran it before, so it's good. Got the throttle. recommended service schedule um, so obviously the first column is your first eight hours which will be on your digital dash which as you can see I just ran it today just to get it running um, it tells you what you need to do your first 15 or eight hours your first 25 50 100 and then after your first hundred every 200 hours following um, I mean they can't make it any easier I mean you know if you take care of your stuff it will last and then I did also didn't mention your mower deck height. It's nice, easy handle to grip. It's tilted, easy to pull out and in. I probably will mow right about here at a 3.5. I don't like to go any lower. Um, so, and you've got multiple adjustments down. So, easy to get into, slide through. You know, like I say, it's it's, it's very comfortable, versatile. So, but there she is. And the other feature that I like about it, it's got the brush bumper guard on the front. I like that. That, that guard is pretty sweet. That's a nice little feature, I like it. So the E120s and the 100s don't have them. The 130s, 140s have them. So like I say, it's a, it's a, it's a great machine and I can't wait to get it uh, to use it. I'm not gonna be using it now. Obviously for those of you who are following the weather, majority of the country is in oppressive weather. I'm here in the Northeast, 92 yesterday. It's already 94 today. They're talking 99 to 100. Um, 90s on two, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, into, into Thursday. I've never seen that kind of stuff before. So. All my grass cutting is not happening for the next four or five days. There's no point in cutting people's lawns, putting stress on the machine, you know, stuff like that. So, all right, let me know what you think. Again, this is just a quick overview of the uh, John Deere e E130 2018. Let me know what you think, like or subscribe. Let me know if you have one, how do you like it? Um, what could they do better with it? But I, I, I did some research and I'm pretty satisfied with this, what this can do. Obviously I'll be putting it to good use hopefully in the next four or five days, so. All right, this is Chef Fabio, 76, signing off. Everybody have a great day, and uh, we'll be in touch in the next video. Thank you.